everybody, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my review of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling. This is book 6 in the Harry Potter series and is by far my favorite book in the series. It has been for a very, very long time. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. And if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know this already. But if you are new to my channel, I reread the entire Harry Potter series in the months of July and August in preparation for the release of The Cursed Child when it came out at the end of July. And I still have not read that book, but I am planning on reading it very, very soon. So I read this actually in the month of August at the very tail end of it the, in the last couple of weeks. And again, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Again, it's my favorite book in the series and it has changed my life. I'm not even joking. This book has literally changed my life. And it still is one of my favorite books to this entire day. So pretty much back when the movie adaptation was coming out, it was actually the first Harry Potter trailer I ever saw for the movie adaptations. I saw the movie adaptation for it and I wanted to see it immediately. Of course, I didn't have I hadn't had I hadn't read the series yet or had seen the other movies, so I couldn't go see it at the time. So, back when I really got into Harry Potter in 2010-2011, I obviously started reading the series, fell in love with it automatically as I have explained in all the other videos, um, which I'll link in the description box below for you guys to go check out if you haven't already. And when I got to this book, holy cow, this book is fantastic. It made me laugh, it made me cry, it just made me jump for joy and just like want to throw it against the wall at some points. So I thought it was really interesting to see what Voldemort was like when he was a young little boy growing up in England, obviously. Um, getting to see him, he grew up in an orphanage and he was an orphan, kind of just like Harry. And I thought it was just a really interesting element to the story. And then when he finds out he is a wizard by Dumbledore, when Dumbledore comes to visit him at the orphanage, and getting to see those scenes and read about those scenes is just fantastic. And then, you know, just see him at Hogwarts, he was in Slytherin House, obviously, and, you know, see what he was like at Hogwarts was really cool, and, you know, it was just a fantastic element to the story. I also really liked, and this is probably my favorite part about this book, and it's probably why it's my favorite book of the entire series, is we got to see a lot of Draco in the entire book. Draco Malfoy, obviously, is my favorite character in Harry Potter. I love Draco Malfoy. And, you know, this book focuses a lot on him, as well as Voldemort and the Death Eaters, because obviously Draco is put in a situation where his father, Lucius, is put in Azkaban for being a Death Eater. So Draco is put on a mission to kill Dumbledore, and because I've not read the book, I'm so sorry for the spoilers. He's obviously put on this mission to kill Dumbledore, and he joins the Death Eaters. And holy cow, oh gosh, those scenes are some of my favorites. You know, getting to see his character development throughout the first five books and into the sixth one has been fantastic. He has developed so much from the first book. You know, getting in, I think the situation he is put in is one that I don't think ever, anyone would ever want to be put in. And it just changed him pretty much for the last two books throughout the Hot Blood Prince as well as the Deadly Hallows. Uh, I think his character development just went through the roof. It was just wow. Of course, the last couple of scenes of this book were the ones that kind of either made me laugh or made me cry throughout the entire book. Um, when I first read The Half of Prince for the very first time, when it came to Dumbledore's death, I cried my eyes out a lot. Obviously, I actually really enjoyed Dumbledore's character throughout the entire series when I first read it. After a while, since I've reread the series so many times, it really doesn't affect me anymore. When I see it in the movies, it does, but when I reread it, it doesn't really affect me anymore. But I think the element of Snape killing Dumbledore was really, really, really interesting. I'm glad it didn't and it turned out to be Draco to kill him. I'm glad it was Snape because, oh my gosh, <laughs> it just plot twist, just plot twist all the way. Um, and then when we find out that Snape is actually the Half-Blood Prince that Harry has been looking for, and because the his book for um, potions was addressed to the Half-Blood Prince, the property of the Half-Blood Prince, and we find out it's Snape at the very end, I'm like, <laughs> Snape was one of my favorite characters in the entire series, and finding out he's actually a Half-Blood, but he was in Slytherin House, where they're usually all purebloods, just added a whole another element to the series. Of course, 
I overall really enjoy rereading this book. It, again, gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I couldn't ask for better. I just want to keep rereading the series, but it probably won't happen for a couple of years. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I, if you did, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I will upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be on the lookout for more videos coming soon. And I will have all my social media links down in the description box below for you guys to go check out. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, as well as my blog, which will be linked in the description box below as always. And I will see you guys on Monday for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!